Hello, I've just been given these uh, six spring cabbage plants. Uh, it's a variety called uh, Durham Early, and I'm going to try and get these into a, a raised bed. Uh, I've started to create some room now, things are coming out so these guys could go in. Uh, the problem is, um, I've got club root in the raised beds. The bed that these guys are going in, I had some uh, kale growing in there and some other brassicas and uh, when I took them out at the end of the season they all had club root so there's club root in the bed um, and these are going into a bed that there's club root so I'm going to try and uh, minimize the risk to these guys uh, by giving them uh, a better start um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these guys up into some I think the yogurt cartons that I have uh, I'm going to use a compost or a, uh, that I know has had no club root in it. It's, it's new compost, it's brand new sterile compost, so I know there's no club root in there. And I know that club root likes uh, a fairly acidic environment to thrive, and my beds tend to be on the acidic side. So what I'm going to do is this compost, I've actually mixed in uh, some garden lime with it to try and raise the pH level uh, to, towards neutral to make it less acidic, uh, to make it less to the liking of club root. And then at a later date uh, we'll transplant these guys into the bed and hopefully by then they'll have a much bigger root system and be able to uh, grow on and, uh, and thrive. Um, but only time will tell. Let me show you these pots. This is what we're going to transplant them up into. Not well, I can't tell what you're seeing, but uh, the white specks in there, that's uh, garden lime. And I've also mixed it into that compost as well. Uh, so I'm hoping this is uh, pH neutral, there or thereabouts, but certainly not as acidic as uh, Club Root would like it to be. Okay, let's put these guys on. We've dumped them unceremoniously into the barra. Okay, it's our root system. It's a nice way root system there. Pop that in there, press it down. We'll put a wee bit more compost on top of that in a minute. Good root system there, look. Press it down. And we'll pop some more compost on there in a minute. That's it, couldn't be easier, could it? Okay, so I'm going to give these guys a while to, um, to fill these pots with roots uh, and then we'll transplant them into the raised bed. I've taken out six planting holes in the raised bed and this is the soil from those holes in this uh, 10 inch bucket. Okay, so this soil is representative of the soil in the raised bed. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a pH test on this soil. Um, I have been trying to modify it with some garden lime to try and get it up near a, a neutral pH, 7 pH. Um, so let's see where we are. Okay, the meter's zeroed at uh, 7 pH.
So the first reading is settling out at between 6 and 6.5. So we're just very slightly acidic on our first reading. You'll notice the backlight has gone out on the pH meter but it, it doesn't mean it stopped reading, it's still actually working. And it may actually be better for you to see the, uh, to see the reading. I'll just pop that backlight on again and uh, see if it makes any difference, I don't think it will. No, we've got a reading of uh, 6.5 and so again very slightly acidic so we're nearly up to that uh, 7 pH that we were chasing trying to get it to uh, a neutral position. Okay, so we've, we've settled out at uh, 6.5 again, so again, very, very slightly acidic. I think we're happy with this. Um, now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to line the planting holes um, with some more lime um, before I plant the uh, spring cabbages. Uh, and hopefully uh, the root system will be big enough now that um, these spring cabbages will actually and grow on to make good cabbages in the spring of next year uh, without being affected too adversely by club root. And the one other big danger that we have in gardens when we're growing brassicas, uh, butterflies, because we're growing through um, autumn, winter and into spring, there are no butterflies about, it's too cold. No butterflies, no caterpillars. No caterpillars, cabbages are fine with that. We don't want caterpillars on cabbages. We don't want club root on cabbages. Um, so let's go and plant these uh, cabbages. Okay, these are my uh, six holes already uh, dug to take the uh, spring cabbage. I hope you can see that there is some lime uh, inside those holes just uh, to try and keep this, uh, keep this bed sweet so it doesn't go too acidic. Um, and these are the spring cabbages. Let's take one out and see what it looks like. Now I'm hoping that there's a bit more root on this uh, spring cabbage than there was the last time I looked. Oh yeah, yeah look it's, I mean yeah, there are roots right to the bottom of this uh, pot now. Um, so we'll just sit that in that planting hole, like that, and then we'll do the same for the rest of these cabbages. Excuse me, Molly, please. Excuse me. Thank you. And basically all I'll do is uh, water these guys in and tighten them up a bit in the uh, planting wall. Yeah, look, that's the type of root we like to see, that very uh, fine hair-like root. No club root on these guys, not yet anyway, and hopefully there won't be. Hopefully we've taken enough precautions here. Um, but we won't know that will we till next spring. Um, so if you want to know if this, this has worked, then you'll need to visit me again next spring when we harvest these guys. Um, 
and hopefully we'll get some good spring cabbages. Oh, didn't realise Molly liked cabbage, that leaf I've just taken off, she's just eaten it. Molly, I didn't know you liked cabbage. I think this dog's vegetarian. Last one. No, that didn't take long, did it? So that's our hello, sweetheart. That's our um, six spring cabbage. As I say, I'll, I'll, I'll tighten these guys up in the uh, planting holes, and uh, that's it. Till next spring, is it, Bob? Man, look at this! Oh, Molly! You need a haircut! Look at that! Look at that! I don't know if you can see that. Good for birds' nests, uh, but not in autumn, because the birds have all uh, migrated. At least they're not nesting anywhere. Okay, so that's it for today, isn't it, Molly? This is homegrown veg, signing out. Come on, sweetheart. Come on.